And then there's like a guy there. And then there's another guy there. Did someone just jump down? Okay, someone just jumped down into the water. And I can't see them. I think that's it. So there's, I mean, there's no story here, right? There's not much story, it's just running and gunning for the most part. And, uh... It's kind of fun to play. It's not that entertaining. I forgot how to open this, I think I have to shoot it. Let me just look around for secrets. Why are they not dead yet? Okay, now they're dead. And in here, secret area, that's an invulnerability thing that we can use. A lot of the stuff you don't I get to activate to use. And I forgot where the secret is. Crap. Oh, that's not good. So this is the this is the loot. The loot is the super shotgun. uses two shells at once and does quite a bit more damage, right? Let me uh, switch to my machine gun. Uh, what am I doing now? So now it tells you to resume previous mission. And of course the path back is filled with enemies now. I'm trying to look for the, the way to open that door. I can't remember how you open that door. I don't think it's... Hmm. Anyway, it doesn't really matter that much. I don't think it matters that I mean, it's just... This is all bonus loot, right? It's not... We don't need to do any of this to progress. That's the door. And then there's like... Secrets back there. Let me just try and kill that thing. Is it still there? And then there's like this stuff, which is also oh crap. Uh, please die. All right, let me just switch back to a better gun. So there's this stuff. I don't remember what that is. What did I just open? I have no idea what I just did. Did I open okay, this, alright? Why doesn't this thing die? Wow. Alright, well, we are failing hard. That also opens that. That goes up there. Okay, so this. This is a secret, okay. 
this comes back here. Fascinating. This is not a thing. This is new. Takes three shots of the super shotgun to die, huh? So now we're back here, where that little dog thing was, and what is this? I think I'm- oh crap. I think I'm going through this backwards? Anyway, we, we are grabbing all the loot. We haven't used grenades yet either. Grenades are fun when they hit. Alright, so we're... Oh crap, what, what's the... Okay. I think the elevator can kill us. If we're not careful. Okay, we just got... Got hit by the elevator. So, is that it? Is that everything? I don't know. Uh, let's go back out here. All right, let's let's go down the the elevator again. I think that's the whole area. Not sure though. So let's take us back here. Which oh crap. Let me just run back here for some cover. Before we deal with those guys. Alright, that's all good. Um, is this also a secret? It might be. There's no secret up there. Let me come down here. Let's check what this is. This is kind of a secret. Oh, this is where the door opens. Alright. Okay, I found it. So that's this door. Oh no. Everything's trying to kill us. And that stupid dog thing is behind the door. Oh, here he is. Ow. Alright, good. So there we go. Now we're back. Let me just grab some ammo and health before we move on. Was there health back here? There was. I didn't know any health. Alright. Let me just grab the ammo. And then we'll move on. Oh, good. So that gives us a super shotgun a little bit earlier than we would have if we didn't come to the secret level. It's, I mean... I'm not sure if the secret level is really worth it. I mean, we've got an invulnerability thing, right? Maybe it's worth it. Let me just check my auto saves. I want to see... Huh, not sure if... Let me just save. Alright, so there's enemies everywhere. Around here. Probably don't need to be this careful. enemies underneath us too. That's, that's a quad damage which you can get if we leave the barrels, I think. Uh, let me come down here and kill this guy.
Oh, that sucked. I mean, I say I don't need to be that careful, and then I'm less careful, and then I almost die. So you you lose health very quick if you get hit in this game. And uh, the health does not auto-regenerate, as in some modern games. So you just need to be careful, I guess. Try not to get wrecked too much. So that was a quad damage, which multiplies your damage by 4 when you activate it. I know where the enemies are, right? I know there's enemies up there. So that's an environmental suit, which we could have picked up if we used the barrels. And then with the environmental suit we can come down here, and I think there's a loot down there. But then, if you press the button, the toxic liquid will rise up. And you you need the environmental suit to not die in the toxic liquid. But no, uh, we're not gonna worry about that. Um. So this is a trap. If we let him run across and press the button, press that button, these boxes will explode. So it's, it's a trap, right? So a lot of this stuff, if you know what's going on, the, the game is quite a bit easier than if you're coming in blind. And as I said, I know the first few levels really well. Later levels, not so much. Like that, like I know exactly where the enemies are coming from. And what to do. So that's a new enemy. He shoots grenades. Which are dangerous if they hit you, but you'll notice that like we're up here and he's down there. When he shoots grenades, they bounce back. So this is an interesting way for the game to introduce a new enemy to us without really putting us in much danger, because when you're down here, he, he, he's got a machine gun on one arm and a grenade launcher on the other, right? The machine gun can hit you, but the grenades can't, because he's like down in the pit. So that, that's interesting game design. To introduce, like this is the first time we meet that enemy, and the first time we meet him, he's like in the pit where he can't really hurt you as much. Alright, so that's the communication thing that we were coming here to, to grab and the blue key I just picked up by standing on it all right so now we walk back out except there's enemies down there Probably shouldn't use the shotgun at long range. The shotgun really has a very short range where it's effective, beyond which it's not effective. Alright, and then there's more of these guys. I think there's a... There's a I think there was a Quake 2 demo, and I think that the demo was like the first three levels or something. 
I'll tell you where the demo ends, if I remember right. So this is still the demo, so the demo, I think, is the part that I know really well. And uh, the later parts of the game, not so much. Alright, so now we go back. Uh, what to do? There's a guy back here. Alright. So this, if you remember, I'm not sure if you remember, we were down in the water before, so this is before we went into the sewers to get to the other levels. So you loop back, you loop back, you lower this bridge, and now you're on the other side of this broken bridge. So we can continue onwards. Where's the other one? Isn't there one more? Never mind. Okay, there is one more. It's behind us. Let me stay in cover. Alright. Let me come back and grab more ammo. Another old school game I want to play is Freelancer. I don't know if you've played Freelancer, it's a space game. I want to play Freelancer and play this anyway. Let's stick with uh, Quake 2 for now. So we went... So the last time we were here, we went down there to get to the next area because this bridge was broken. Although you can actually jump across. I think we can jump far enough to get across there. Uh, yeah, so if you want to, you can go back and grab more loot. We're not going to. But that is an option. Because there was a lot of ammo earlier on that we didn't have room for. Ah, that was stupid. Okay, let me just leave that ammo for now. So that's the grenade launcher. We want to avoid that grenade launcher. If possible. There's another one back there. Let me just get some punch shots in. So he's got a gun on one arm and a grenade launcher on the other, right? So these things not that dangerous if they don't catch you off guard. So if you get ambushed and you get surrounded, then you can die very fast. If you don't get surrounded, don't get ambushed, and then you're okay. Alright, and then down here... Just walk around and you see what's going on. So back here, you, we could've come down here. Although it's not that good because they're grenade launchers. And so if you sneak down here, what you can get is a super shotgun. But then they throw grenades and the grenades will bounce down here. Which is quite dangerous. And then when you get the grenade, uh, get the super shotgun, these enemies come out as well. I mean, the the levels are like they're quite complicated and they're also quite interactive. You can kind of understand why this game was quite highly regarded when it first came out. All right, so there's that. Not sure if the super shotgun is really useful against these guys. I mean, it's a it is a powerful weapon up close. I just don't know if you want to be up close against people who have grenade launchers on their arms. You know what I mean? Anyway, let's just refill our ammo and move on to the next area. And that's the end of the unit. So the first unit I know really well. The second unit. I know less about, and then as we move on in the game, I'm just going to be completely lost. <laughs> so, that's the end of the first one.
destroy strong logistical train. Well, you make that sound so simple, don't you? Uh, destroy the strong logistical train. Find entrance to supply station. So I'm going to save the game here and take a break. See how the recording turned out. And when we come back, we're going to destroy the strong logistical train, I guess. I'll see you in the next video.